Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Compassion. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you're up and ready to start a new day and that you're ready to make a difference in someone else's life. That's the point of being a believer. We always want to make a difference. We always want to influence someone in a positive direction. And this morning, I'm going to look at our last message uh, in the series, The Comeback. We finished it up this past week and uh, we're getting ready to start a new series this week that we're calling Buck Wild. But the name of last week's message was New Name. Uh, we looked at a man by the name of Saul, and Saul had a past. But, but when Saul became Paul, Paul determined one thing in his heart, that he was not going to let his past dictate his future. Uh, at his own admission, he was really a man who operated in, in the flesh. Uh, Paul said later in his life that he counted all those things as rubbish. He had an elite education. That's a good thing. Nothing wrong with having a good education. Uh, he came from a family with substance. Nothing wrong with that. He was a Jew. Uh, he was of the tribe of Benjamin, and he took pride in that. And when it came to the law, he said that he was faultless. Uh, but the problem is simply this. Uh, he was doing all of that out of his own strength and out of his own flesh. And because he operated out of the flesh, he did not see the spiritual that was standing right in front of him. Uh, he was this up-and-comer with the Pharisees. Uh, he was on a great career path. Uh, he probably would have become one of the leading teachers. He may have even replaced Gamaliel at some point, who was the greatest educator uh, of their day. But yet, that would come to an end because the truth is, God had another plan for his life. Uh, word got out, you know, after the resurrection of Jesus that he had been seen of men. And, and Paul, when he heard, or Saul, when he heard the news, it just gave him a great uh, hatred in his heart. Uh, he was proud of his religious heritage. And now these people called the way were saying that Jesus Christ, who had been crucified, had been raised from the dead and that people actually saw Jesus uh, walking on this earth. And uh, so Paul missed something. He missed the truth about Christ. Once again, why? Because he was operating in the flesh. Uh, his pride uh, was in his education. His pride was in his heritage. His pride was that he was a descendant of Benjamin uh, and his knowledge was strictly in the law itself and he was primed for a fall. Anytime we operate out of our flesh and God has another plan for our life, there's gonna be a fall. In Proverbs 16 and 18, pride goes before the destruction and a haughty spirit before the fall. And that's exactly what was gonna to happen to this man named Saul. His, his pride led him on a path of destruction. Now, his destruction, uh, was not the destruction that we would think, that somebody's life would be destroyed. Uh, what actually occurred is when he encountered Christ, something happened in Paul. He had to die. The old Paul had to be done away with. Paul later wrote this in Galatians 2 and 20. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Not yet I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. You know, Paul is telling the Galatians church that when he had an encounter with Christ, that he was identified with Christ in his crucifixion, that the old Saul died that day, and who lived in him now was Christ. And he wasn't just living in his flesh as he did prior to his encounter. He wasn't relying on his own strength, his own knowledge, his own heritage, his own ingenuity. He wasn't relying on his own works. Now he was relying on Christ who lived in him. He became a man of the Spirit. When he said, I now I live in the flesh by faith in the Son of God, he's basically saying this. He said that I'm living now in my physical flesh 
I'm living by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul also wrote in Romans 6 and 8, And since we've died with Christ, we know that we shall live with him. That day when he encountered Christ, his operating in his own flesh, in his own will, operating in his own strength, it died that day, and now he will rely on the strength of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ. He said, now I live with him. It took death to the old man Saul in order for him to be raised to life. Paul had sort of a resurrection. He died that day, but then Jesus raised him up. He was filled with the Spirit. He was baptized, and he went on a new career path to preach the gospel, which still impacts us today. We all have to take this example from Paul. We don't need to operate in our own strength. We need to be people of the Spirit, relying on Him and our faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you. I pray you have a good day. Father, we just love you. We thank you for your word. We thank you that when we encountered you, our old man died. Now we're a new man who lives by faith in the Son of God, people of the Spirit. We just rejoice in that today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.